It's a new bonus week in GTA Online and we're gonna try to make the most money. This week is a little better than last week cause last week was absolute trash when it comes to bonuses. Starting with the first bonus which is gonna be double money in RP. Let's go into Rockstar Created Jobs and then all seven of the Turf War game modes are gonna be double money for us. So let's go into the first one and see what this thing is all about. Try to get a big lobby in. That's always gonna help you make more money inside of the job. We're gonna set it to first to win two rounds but ideally you wanna set it to the most rounds possible minimum of two players maximum of eight so it's not that big of a game and as we're waiting here if you're a part of the 90 percent of viewers watching right now that aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead and drop a sub so you never miss any more awesome videos like these feel free to help us get to 150k we're really close to it right now we're not going to make as much money with only two players here but i mean this is just a demonstration for you guys so this specific one is locked on sports cars let's use the massacro for this one why not it kind of reminds me of those like old school type games on your mobile phone back in the day so you try to take up as much space as possible pretty much and so we can pick up rockets so let me pick up these rockets real quick and oh okay well he already fell down that helps me a lot because now he has to respawn and that's gonna take some time so i am just filling up this whole place with orange and i just blew him up with rockets as well with more players this game mode is actually a lot more fun as well and it's pretty chaotic i gotta say so we're just gonna try to fill up everything with rockets i feel bad for this guy this guy does not really know what's going on should i blow him up again oh i feel bad bro you know what let me just follow him if both people are on the same square by the way then it's gonna turn red like this so because i took over the most area i got a point and the target score is three to win this round and i'm sorry dude i gotta blow you up again i feel bad this guy's a level 57 like i'm sorry i'm just trying to do a good demonstration for the viewers here i hope you understand this might be the easiest win of all time he just picked up rockets though let's see if he knows how to use them maybe well we just got another point as you can see on the top of the screen it is now two nothing it's about to be three nothing and then i'm gonna win this round and then we have one more round to go oh i was about to blow him up but round winner team orange one this game mode is a lot of fun as i said with more players but with two players it's not that bad either from that round alone we made about fifteen thousand dollars which is not bad you can also change the target score at the start as well like in the starting menu see ya holy crap my car's on fire i was too close to him when i launched the rockets my car's like really slow right now as well all right nice we just won that i swear that was really really close Okay, well, we killed him, and then my car blew up because it was on fire from earlier. We'll take that, honestly. 2 nothing. We need one more point to win this whole game. See ya. All right, that's game. Let's just get a few more tiles, and we are good to go. Easy win right here. My car's on fire, but we should be fine because we're about to get point number three, and we set this thing to two rounds, so we are match winner. And for that, we got over $40,000. That's not bad at all, considering we had the bare minimum of players, and we only set it to two rounds instead of four, which is the max. This is actually a really good method to grind this week. Highly recommend it, especially with a bigger lobby. You can make a lot of money. There's a lot of different ones you guys can do with different car classes, I believe believe so it's not only sports cards if i'm not mistaken let's move on to the next bonus now if you're in need of any gta modded accounts account boosts and cash make sure to check out hyper resupply down below in the description they offer some of the cheapest and safest cash and rank services out there on all platforms doesn't matter if you play on old gen or next gen and they have lots of verified reviews by their customers too and you can even use discount code hacky at checkout for an extra 10 percent off now let's get back into the video the next bonus we're gonna go over is is 50% more money on air freight cargo. We haven't gotten this bonus in quite a while. And for this one, obviously you need a hangar. I personally have mine in the LSIA airport, but I know a lot of people have theirs at the military base. It doesn't really matter though. Let's press right D-pad to sit down and go into the computer. And then we start this by sourcing supplies. So we can source any of these supplies, but these first three right here are considered the best ones and the highest paying ones. So let's do narcotics, this first one. Then we're gonna 
spawn outside with a plane next to us. This is a really cool looking plane, gotta say. We have to intercept the Meriwether Jets. Okay, so the Meriwether Jets are all the way in Sandy Shores. And man, there are a lot of them. This plane does come with a machine gun and homing missiles. The machine guns are gonna be useless, but let's use the homing missiles. We have a 30 minute timer, but guess what? It's not gonna take anywhere 30 minutes to complete, so we're good. Let's lock on to them and hopefully take out as many as possible. Now they're going crazy after we locked on to them. All right, we got him nice with the machine gun, actually. We do have unlimited missiles, I'd imagine, on this jet, so we should be fine. So the narcotics are probably gonna drop on the ground now from one of the planes that we took out. Hey, all right, we can be in a motorcycle club during these missions, which is actually super useful. And there it is. Let's collect this cargo. Boom. We're in an invite only session, so no one can interfere. Now all we have to do is deliver it back to the hangar, and that is this mission done. Then all we have to do is just sell it. So our cargo value is now $135,000, which is pretty freaking good, especially for just one source mission. Ideally, you do want to do this more long term, but as we did with the last mission, I'm just briefly showing you guys how it works. So I'm just doing one sell mission, but I recommend you guys do more and more. So you end up selling it for a lot, let's say towards the end of the week. But this is a brief showcase so let's go ahead and sell it for that 135k looks like we have to deliver two of these so it will be pretty helpful if you have a friend in with you press right d-pad to get the little thingy hanging down that's what she said and then take one of the cargos just like this and then once we get to the drop off we can press right d-pad to drop it and we just do the same thing with the second one after let's press right d-pad and there we go we got a nice little animation like that and there we go. We got just under 135k, so 131 and a half thousand dollars. Because Ron's cut was like three thousand something dollars. That's why. So Ron took a little bit of our cut, but it doesn't really matter. Overall, two very good money methods. There's also 50% more money on first and last dose missions if you want to grind that, just like last week. So I'm not gonna showcase it again. Now click the video on screen now if you want to see some bad news regarding GTA Online on last gen, meaning GTA Online on Xbox One and PS4. I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.